Hello crafters and welcome to Plan C, conversations about craft, creativity and connection. I'm Michelle Brown, creative director from Picture to Page Paper Craft Shows, which is our scrapbooking, mixed media art and paper crafting community and we're so excited that you can join us here today. Now Plan C is all about catching up with our fantastic retailers and some talented guest artists so we can have a chat about where their creativity come from, learn a little bit about their products and of course see some fantastic crafting demonstrations to get us inspired. Now for all the details, head over to our website from picture to page and beyond.com.au. We can sign up to our newsletter, see all our past episodes of Plan C, our past seasons of Plan C, plus also see who's coming up in the next few weeks. So today we're really excited to have Mary from Craft Zone. Hello Mary. Hello Michelle, hello everyone. It's so good for joining us. Now of course when Craft Zone comes along to the picture to page shows, you are such a big feature of the shows and you've got such an amazing range. Can you tell us a little bit about how you got started? Um, yes, of course. We Our background is paper mm -hmm. with Bill. We used to have a paper manufacturing and um, mainly stationery and other craft products. Um, when we wanted to semi-retire, we had all this paper left over. <laughs> so we decided to at least sell some instead of sending it to the cheap or recyclers. And some of our customers liked the packs and the papers and all the colors and textures we had. So it grew from there. They kept showing us what they're doing with the paper stock. Um, I was just amazed um, <laughs> with all these dyes and embossing folders. Back then, I didn't know what it meant. Um, but I do now, and now we're going into inks and stamps and other tools. And I remember years ago when um, a lot of our customers were just explaining to me, and I thought, oh, it's another cult. <laughs> <laughs> I guess cult so is one way you could put it, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, so, um, so I've been converted. <laughs> and so some of our customers, and yeah, it's nice. It's very creative, very interesting. And like I say, because I'm not that creative, I just say, look, I don't make mistakes. I make original. Okay. <laughs> exactly. So it's funny yeah. to think that you and Bill have sort of taken this as your retirement job when you were retiring from being in the paper yeah. industry. Exactly. And that's why we do markets instead of having a shop, because I really don't want a nine to five or 12 hour days. Mm -hmm. uh, but we do because we end up at different markets. Because people say, have this or come to that market and we can't drive to Caribbean now that it's closed or come to Geelong. So, yeah, I feel like the gypsy, but it's fun. <laughs> we travel to three different spots a week um, when the lockdowns are not there. We do craft shows. We used to do interstate as well, but we're all getting a bit older and <laughs> wiser and we're getting tired. So we only do the local uh, Victorian shows now, not interstate. Right. Um, and we do have a website as well. So we started that 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. um, but as time changes, we are in the process of changing the website. We're creating a new one with the help of professional people and our daughter. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking forward to start keying in some new products. And hopefully that should be up and running soon and we'll be able to accept um, different payments because according to the web designer or developer, it's going to have Shopify, not the Zen card that we have now. So we're going to accept a lot more um, different payments like ZPay, Afterpay, uh, credit cards, uh, Google Pay, or all the other payments that there is. While at the moment, we're only accepting direct bank or PayPal. Yeah. Oh, that's so exciting. Yes. So that we know that sort of all the picture to page shows have their own sort of, you know, flavour and personality. Do you find when you go to the different markets, they have their own personalities as well? Yes. Yes, uh, very much so. Um, I, when I do, I mean, I do most of the buying and Bill does most of the um, die cutting in our, all our preschool cards. And we take different stocks to different markets, oh, even okay. though... We have different ages as well. Mm -hmm. um, our customers vary from 10-year-olds to 95, I oh, think. Oh, excellent. But we do have a 95-year-old customer that's regular, believe it or not. And honestly, she's very creative and lovely. So, and, But you know, um, in Geelong, for instance, people like more mixed media. Mm -hmm. um, in Berwick, they like um, 
just the general craft and a little bit of mixed media. While on Wednesdays, uh, the local place we go to, there's not much mixed media at all. It's mainly dyes, okay. paper, die cutting, and a little bit of scrapbooking. So, yeah, and we, you know, we get to meet lovely people. Yeah. And it's fun. I mean, it's a second family. Yeah. Sometimes the only family, we don't see anybody else. <laughs> right. Exactly. And you've got such a lovely team, of course. We've got Jeanette who's watching and Cheryl who's never far away that's always part of your team. How did they get involved? Um, well, believe it or not, Cheryl overheard me once she was a customer uh, buying some paper at the market mm -hmm. and she heard me explaining something to a customer. And, she, well, like I said, I didn't know much about this sort of cult. So I said what I thought, and uh, Cheryl stood back and um, she waited for the customer to go. And she approached me and she goes, Listen, Mary, um, what you said, it's not quite right. It's sort of this way. And I thought, Oh, she seems to know what she's talking about. <laughs> so I just said, Can you please explain more? And every time you come, just spend more time and teach me. So that's how I met Cheryl from a customer. She's our first craft teacher. So she does the classes on Wednesdays. And then in Geelong, uh, Robin used to visit mm -hmm. as a customer. She lives down that way. So she used to visit and we have our little show and tell. Every customer brings you what they've created. <laughs> and I used to beg her, can you please do the classes here? Because mm. the girls were loving the cards. <laughs> and she said, oh, you keep them. And I thought, no, I want you to teach them. I don't want to keep them. I want to sell them. <laughs> you know, they ask me a million questions. and. You here, so she used to help, mm -hmm. and then at the end she became a teacher down there. And again with Beric, um, the girls were saying do classes here on Sundays because we can't see you weekdays. So Cheryl started the classes. She goes, okay, Mary, I'll do it, but I don't mm -hmm. want to do it forever. So Jeanette says, okay, I I I'll take it over. So yeah, it was we're lucky. We're actually very, very blessed. Yeah. And the teachers are different teachers all together. Mm -hmm. I sort of have a feeling what Jeanette likes and what she's going to do. And they have a feeling and a good rapport with their the class girls, mm -hmm. you know, their students, I call yeah. them. Um, and they're all different again. Mm -hmm. The very girls like different things to <laughs> their girls. So it's fun. And, 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 you know, and I get to have all these sample cards to show the other markets what the other class created. Yeah, so there's certainly play. something about seeing them, isn't it? Uh, seeing what yeah. what they can do to encourage you. Exactly. And, you know, you get the Wednesday girls saying, what did they create last week <laughs> or, you know, on Sunday or Saturday? So, yeah, it's it's interesting. Yeah. And, the, you know, we, we like I said, we're very lucky. And we buy everything original from the actual manufacturers mm -hmm. and the suppliers, so I don't have any problem with the quality of our stock. Um, if there is ever any issues, which I don't remember having any, um, we're happy to replace or um, refund whatever the customer wants. And all our papers are safe um, in the chemical way, because like I said, our background is paper. There's a lot of toxic things out there. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, we buy Australian-made paper or European-made paper, mm -hmm. not anything else that might be using the wrong thing. Yeah. And I remember I say that because I have eczema and many years ago we bought um, quite a large volume of fluoro paper, oh. you know, this mm -hmm. colors of fluoro, and we were running it through our big machines and we had a lot of work to catch up on. So I was helping the girls pack and by the end of the day, my fingers were very itchy. Oh, wow. Uh, she, I didn't know what to do. So I, I wanted to just take my skin off. Yeah. Anyway, the next day I ended up at the doctor's because it was really plain and we did the test and it was formaldehyde and I thought, oh. I didn't touch any. Mm. Well, at the end, is the company who bought the fluoro paper, what they used in the dye, they've used formaldehyde. Right. So it affected me, lucky the other workers were safe. Mm. So from then on, I mean, we do have insurance, but you don't want to go there. Right. No, definitely not. No, we don't. Safe. We craft for our enjoyment, not to make ourselves sick. <laughs> exactly, and we all have young family. Imagine if somebody puts it in their mouth. Mm. You know, young children, or you know, you touch it, you wipe your face. Yeah, oh, so that's, we that's guarantee funny. our products, and it's safe and it's not dangerous. Believe me, yeah. not even the glue. 
none of our products is toxic. I'm sure, you know, most of us think of these things. Yeah. So now, you mentioned that you've got 32 different designs of pre-cut cards. Um, how did you end up with so many different designs? Like I say, it's manufacturing, die cutting. Mm-hmm. We still have some machines. Mm-hmm. Um, we die cut, we yellow tint to size. Um, and honestly, we have um, the die on bill when he has time or when he feels like doing some. We've got a warehouse full of different colors, but now we've slimmed that down to black, white, and cream. Mm-hmm. And we used to make a lot of products for the retailers. Mm-hmm. And then we kept some designs and, you know, how much can you throw away? And now there's more designs all the time. You sit there and you see a card. So it's not hard to make mm-hmm. the die instead of die cutting paper. Mm. You know, people have the quick cut and they cut shapes and stuff. We've got big industrial machines. Mm-hmm. And, you know, and we sit and pack after hours while we watch telly. Oh, nice. And you said, you know, you've been around sort of for the 10 years or so in this format. Have you seen sort of the trends change over that time? Well, yes, I've grown because <laughs> I understand more. But, yeah, the industry has grown because I remember 10 years ago there was only one or two cutting machines and it was a cuddle bug or the big shot mm-hmm. um, and it was only a five size. Mm. Now we've got 12 by 12 inch you know the pros you've got a4 mm-hmm. you've got electric machines you've got creek cut you've got brother scan and cut whatever mm-hmm. um so you know that's growing mm. uh, we used to be able to just cut paper now you can cut acetate plastic wood depending on the thickness um and stamping i mean mm-hmm. you, know, you had to have steady hands and you felt like a neurosurgeon to stamp straight mm-hmm. now you just You've got your stamping mm-hmm. buddies or your, uh, what is it called, the misties mm-hmm. or the blending. You don't use the sponges. You've got mm. so many more tools. Yeah, and it does ha- it make it, makes it more accessible in a way as well. It is. And the papers, like, because I don't colour and do all that. I just buy printed papers. There's mm-hmm. so many yeah. in anything. So it's it's easier or creative. depends what you want to do. Mm. And yeah. you like there's so much out there yeah and the websites help you know the internet <laughs> i mean 10 years ago who would think that uh, we'll have a website and selling on internet and shipping worldwide yeah. from lounge room yeah and that's know? what we have to remember like as, as tough a times as we're having at the moment with melbourne and victoria and lockdown and new south wales and where we are but could you imagine if we didn't have this level of communication it just would be so hard and it's saying I get it. Um, like here, I'm learning to craft. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, I think I'll go insane. Mm-hmm. How much can you clean or cook? Um, and you need time out, mm-hmm. you know. And you know, locking myself in this room, I, it's just my sanctuary. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Television you can watch. Yeah, I enjoy it. I've been creating, and um, I know Michelle, um, Jeanette, and Cheryl, and um, Robin tell me that you know I should take over classes soon but no they're not going to be able to get it i can't teach i can do some things but i'm not a good teacher yeah i will just take over and do it but yeah no it's interesting excellent so mary what of your creations have you got to share with us today um well i like sort of themes um because i follow on from what the girls do in classes so mm-hmm. today i've called it nature mm-hmm. because we need some nature you know to be grounded and hope you know, spring is around the corner. So I've created some cards to do um, with nature and, you know, plants and the environment out there with a bit of a twist, you know, a crafty twist there. Mm-hmm. Excellent. And I use our design cards and our dies. And it's very, very easy. Believe me, if I can do it, anybody. <laughs> Excellent. Well, let's get you ready and we'll jump right in. Okay. Thank you, Michelle. Okay, so while Mary's getting herself organised, just like to say hi to Pauline and Lana and Tammy and Janine and Pam 
and Karen and Jenny and Helen and Kylie and Wendy, of course. Thank you all so much for joining us today. It is such a, um, a challenging time, but like Mary said, I think craft has really helped get us through. And I don't know whether you guys saw that meme that I think I shared in the Paper Craft Posse group. Someone said, oh, you're a crafter. What happens when you run out of craft projects during lockdown? You just laugh and say, we're not going to run out of craft projects or craft supplies. We will always find something else to do. So I think Mary is ready to go. So Mary, take it away. Okay. How does the camera look? Yep, looks okay. great. Thanks, Mary. Okay. Well, I've got three cards. Um, this one is made with the uh, tarot lace uh, sunflower dies and a studio light um, die in the background, the latches. This one is a studio light slim line. I'll put it with that way. Mm -hmm. With a, a tarot lace, that's one of my favorite, actually, the tarot lace with the sunflower lady, just sticking to the sunflower. And um, I printed some papers. I forgot to mention that because of the lockdown, I'm not able to sell these paper packs. But if anybody's interested in today's class and they purchase these, I'm happy to post it out for free, the background papers, until the printers are up and running. Um, and this other car, apparently it's called a pinwheel. I'm just calling it collapsible. And it's out of um, what I've used in the backgrounds. This is our front. We live on a service road. So this is one of the gum trees at the front. Um, this is, I was born in Cyprus. And this is uh, one of the resorts we used to go as a child um, up in the mountains. So I put some kangaroos there. <laughs> and I I think Jeanette gave me this one. I can't remember of, from her travels, um, some sunsets. So I've used that and I've got some birds flying yeah. on that one. And what a great idea to use your own photos in your craft work. Well, see, I can't color this. So I thought, oh, Jeanette's got, I, I think it was from Jeanette anyway, yeah, on a USB stick. Because with the lockdown, I've been finding lots of things I forgot I had. So I've been printing. <laughs> so yeah, and it's the same dye that I've used here, the slim line. Mm -hmm. So I will just start with the sunflower. You know, this one, which is very easy. Um, and all the cards, like I said, this one I've used an A5 card mm -hmm. that we sell. Um, but like I said, we've got over 30 designs. So if that's the A5 mm -hmm. and the die so I've used the tarot lace dye. What is it called? Sunflower sunshine. And it's got all these dyes in. And it comes with the download. So you just die cut. Then I've used the studio light to make the lattice and you've got the circles as well so you can cut through them. Oh, what a great idea. So you could use it at the lattice with the solid circle or you can make it like a frame. Yes, like here, I've cut it through as a frame. Mm. Okay. Um, then for greetings, I've used the hunky dory greeting, talk about sunshine. Um, that's the, the word die. What does it say? When you can't find the sunshine, be the sunshine. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah. Um, and there is 20% off on Hunky Dory today for the next seven days. 20% uh, off on our Craft Zone pre scored cards and 20% off on our embossing folders. I'm trying to sell out most of the designs so I don't have to transfer them to the new web page. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> now, you can also cut, you know, with a die like this. And I'm using for us, for today's exercise, the trifold. Not I've done it in an A5, mm -hmm. but I, I've changed my mind after I've played with it. I'm using our trifold plane cards. Right. We've got trifold plane, and I'll show you the other designs at the end. Um, so this is our trifold, which 
of die card, the die, mm -hmm. which stays on, so you don't have to cut it out. Mm. You can cut it out if you like. It's got the cut out as well, the four by six rectangle. Oh, okay. I, mm -hmm. So I left it on because I really want it on. Yeah. So I've cut with the rectangle, I've cut acetate. So I want to put it behind so it can hold and it secures the frame. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's stick. And Mary, do you have the acetate in stock as well? Yes, I do. I'm uh, not sure if it's on the website, but I will put it up if it's not there. It's in packets of five sheets, four or five sheets. I think it's five. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll post them out, yes. It's in A4 size. Yeah, because, I mean, we used to have it all the time and we used to do, like, overhead presentations, but it's so hard to find these days. Oh, no, we've got plenty. We've got a lot of stock in acetate. Um, to be honest, I, I think when I was looking the other day, I even have it in colour. Ooh. We've got coloured acetate. <gasps> Ooh. And then i got printed acetate, but i got a get around and putting that on the website. Yeah, because you can imagine that with sort of a bit of a yellow tint for the sunflower. That would look amazing. Yes, I've got it in uh, different prints as well. Um, in, um, the, some companies make, I, I stuck them down to save time. And now they're really stuck. So I just want to secure the back. If you really want to go overboard, you can cut it at one more and put it on the back. But see, that's safe. Mm. So it's right. Okay. And the die, it's a full die, right? See how big it is? Mm. This card, for the purpose of this card, it wasn't worth, uh, feasible for me to use it, so I've cut it. Oh, okay. And that's a right. great reminder. You never have to use everything exactly how you receive it. You can always cut it down or move it off centre. No, exactly. I've got good teachers, so I've been taught well. <laughs> so I've cut it just to fit this card. So, and I've... As you can see on the print, you can die cut, mm -hmm. and um, I 3 d it as well. So it's all ready. This is, you know, I've cut a couple, so I've 3 d that. Okay, yeah, I was going to ask. So when you say 3D, you mean you've layered it up a bit? Yes. Yeah, I call it 3D. See, it's a different color. My language is different. Um, so, yeah, all you've got to do is just stick it down. and it's such a great idea to have the printout that you can then die cut that's just yeah. that just revolutionizes nice. card making yes it's easy and then some designs you can even print in different colors especially the tatted lace magazines uh -huh. they don't come with it you can print I would say sometimes five colors or more with the matching backgrounds. Mm. So you don't need to be struggling like I would be. Mm. Or you could make yeah, cards but, then that look the same but with different colors. It, it gives you such a different yeah. finish. Exactly. Okay. And now with this one, I just want to sit it up in the... There. Some blue. I didn't get it ready, so there it is. And what glue have you got there, Mary? Oh, I've got um, the Joy back. Um, this has got blossom glue. Mm -hmm. We were out of stock for a while because they were out of stock. Something happened to the 
manufacturing plant. So we've got that back in stock. It's a Joy Glue uh, called Blossom Glue. And I'm not sure if I've got it on the website, but it's not much different to the Artist Glue that we've been using before. Just it's a smaller bottle and cheaper. And I've had that Blossom Glue for years since we started using glue. <laughs> so I may understand, you know, and it's tacky, it's got no water. See, that's... Oh, that's just so effective, yeah. Just use the three. I didn't use the clouds. Where are we? See, when you die card, oh. right? You get the clouds. Wow. I can think of so many uses. The sunflowers are just gorgeous. I, I didn't use the clouds because I didn't think I needed to in this case. Hmm. I've... We've got this paper as well, mm -hmm. right, which is... Ah, um, yep. So I've cut some of that paper on the back. See, this is our trifold. Mm -hmm. So I left it like this, and then this is on the back. See, now... Sorry. Cut to here. I just want to give it a back. Jeanette, don't say that's enough glue. She, <laughs> I'm not saying anything. Jeanette will say it's too much, <laughs> but I'm securing everything down. Mm. Because at the markets, people peel it and touch it. And... Okay. See now, so you're looking and you're looking through it. Yeah. And then you can write your greeting on the back. Mm-hmm. But I've already added that on. Yeah. So, again, I've die cut it. And then I've cut it that in a different color a little bit. And I filled in the numbers, what it said, the letters. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So I filled that in. And, yeah. But you can write anything you like there or you can leave it like that. Mm -hmm. Or you can close it down completely if you like. I just thought I'd leave it open. So that's this one. Very easy. Um, and so who was that die and print out by? This one is, where am I? Look, I haven't moved, but I can't find the die. Oh, no. Here it is. All right, this is the Studio Light Slim Line. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, no. This is the Sunflower um, Trifold card. Yeah. So it's... Um, Side with flowers, that's what the, the um, die is called, and it's S L S W F C D 400. Mm -hmm. This is that, right? And the tatted lace sunflower sunshine number is double four three seven one six. And then, thanks for that, Mary. The hunky dory is. M stone S T O N E one one sorry one three six that I've used mm -hmm. and like I said if anybody's buying today just send me an email that I'll post out the background papers to go with it um, and that way they're ready to go like this yeah like I, okay so that's that one the other card because everything. Lately, it's about slim line. Mm -hmm. Oh, to mention that with the die card, all right, I've cut two mm -hmm. and I join them with glue so it gives it some depth. So when you're putting it down in a different color, you fill in. Oh, okay. So oh, lovely. 60. Yep. So you're creating so your own I, shadow essentially. Yes. So that's what I did there. Now, another way of doing the slim, the threefold card that I've used is cutting it. Ah. This is a trifold. Mm -hmm. It's six inches long. So you just measure three inches, three inches, and you cut it from where the crease is. Mm -hmm. So I cut it down where the crease is, and I have my 
scoreboard. Mm -hmm. Everybody's got one if they don't, it's on our website. So off this panel, that the six by four, I've scored it halfway at the five and a half. It's 110. So I've scored it, you fold it back and then you've got the gate for it. Oh, lovely. It's still the same size, mm -hmm. right? But you can put it all in there or you can put more around it. Mm. And you know, you have you design it different. Like I said, there's a lot of potential when you buy pre scored cards. Yeah. I'll cut three hundred grand plus. So they're nice and thick and very steady. Mm. Well you don't see how you could just put that in there in the middle. But anyway. So that's what I did with that card. Yeah, no, that's a great idea. Like you said, that trifold, just those few little different folds make make it all well, yeah, you can have it like that or, you know it's up to your own imagination really and i only come up with that thought a few days ago when i was playing um it, it just bent yeah now the other one i did is using the slim line mm -hmm. die, which we've got so many designs this one oh i love I that think. edge on it it's so pretty yes um and it's got how many? Three, four, five, six dies in here, and that's uh, Studio Light, and it's SL ES CD34. That's the die I use. Mm -hmm. The Tarot Lace Sunflower Sundress. <laughs> right now, she comes with the silhouette, which I didn't use. Oh, okay. Um, and the, the 3D they had. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the print is here, so you can see the extra hat. So you die cut and put the hat on top, mm -hmm. just to give it a 3D effect. Hmm. Um, <clears throat> and that one is Tarot Lace number 896075. Now, like I said, we are printing. Um, we're about to go into a mass production. So this is the background that I've used. Uh -huh. I've called it Dalton. And one of the, you know, and she, the way she's there, she needs to sit somewhere. Mm. So I found this bench ah. from <coughs> this die set. It's got a lot more in it. I mean, you can have a street lamp, trees, yeah. but it's got a bench. So I've used the bench to sit it on. Mm -hmm. And that one is, what is it, YCD10193. Um, and that's Yvonne Creations. Now, I like things with the silhouette. So this is the die I've used. Mm -hmm. All right. I've cut it on an easel. And last time I think somebody wanted to know how do you cut an easel. Mm. All you do, I'll Got it out. No? Right. This is the largest part of the die. You can mm -hmm. use any part of the die you like. Yep. And you fold your paper in half. Mm -hmm. Just fold it in half and you cut it, but you make sure one side of the cutting side mm -hmm. is out a bit. Just over the edge, yeah. Yes. So it doesn't cut through. So when you open it, you get it like this. Mm -hmm. So all you do is you fold one down, half of it, and then the crease is already there, so it goes that way. Oh, okay. All right, so you cut one more full size, so you stick it in the front. Oh, okay. Okay, I'll move that over. So you stick that in the front, and then with the other dies, because it's got three here, mm -hmm. right? I've cut the next size. So you just put it there. Uh huh. So you put one on the bottom as well, just so it can go match it. I didn't use that color there. And then that's the third one, the third design. Can you see the way I've cut the mm. black tape? Mm -hmm. I've used the third smallest die and I've put it up there and I did the same on the bottom. Mm -hmm. And then I've cut. Obviously, our sunflower girl and the bench. Mm -hmm. Now, you need to raise this up, otherwise, it's going to 
you know, won't sit. Mm. So I raised it up and I've cut it a bit more. Continuation of the paper, I've just used the same pattern, put it there. I didn't know what to call it. So I've used my alphabet dies. Ooh. I'm seeing, um, capital and lowercase, or high case and lowercase, whatever you want to call it. And there by Studio Light. And you get the silhouette as well. So I've used the word summer. I could have used sunflower, but I thought it's too long. But you can do anything you like. And I like that sort of one. It's a bit fun. Yeah. And fun. Yeah, so that's the alphabets by Studio Light as well. Mm -hmm. um, it's on our dice section on our web page. Mm -hmm. So that's that one gone. Oh. And so I'll did you say that the letter I'll, dies have the, the inside and the shadow around it as well? Yes, yes, I'll pull it out just so you can see. Yeah, because, I mean, you can never really have too many letter dies, can you? <laughs> oh, and this one's a different, like, what's this? Let's pull out the A. Mm. There's the A. Ooh. Yeah, you might just need to set that yellow paper behind it if you. Oh, there you go. Excellent. Thank you. Oh, okay. Yep. And there's the A. Uh huh. And that's the outline yep. or the silhouette. And you can do it like that if you like. Yeah, so with so, or without it. Fantastic. Yeah. So it's fun. And, yeah. and as you can see on your card, having that shadow really helps the letters stand out from that background as well. Yeah. You know, you can have names that, that, you know, they become a bit personal and you make a personal card with the font there is. We do have different um, fonts and different alphabets, but this is one of our latest ones. So I thought, look, I'll get it and use it and see what it looks like. So yeah. I use just the S in the capital and the rest in the lowercase um, from this because they go together. Mm. But you don't have to have both. It's up to you. So, yeah, it's easy, and that's your slim line. It folds up in a DL envelope, only one stamp, and you post it. Mm -hmm. So that's th that way that I've used this slim line. I'll move it out of the way because I'm going to get And people call this pinwheel. I mean, there's so many ways of doing a pinwheel. Mm -hmm. Bill is working on creating it is a card that you don't have to I cut that many but I like you know and if he does it it's going to be plain mm. I like it because it's got the character yeah and I'm going to die um, now like I said it's prints you can stamp mm -hmm. you can use Christmas colors or your Christmas themes here I will show you I leave the card on the side I mean, I have so much uh, product to play with. <laughs> I'll show you what I did. Mm -hmm. All right? Jeanette will remember if she gave me a picture of this on a USB. Mm -hmm. That's a nice concept. I've used that for here. Mm -hmm. Left and right. Yep. This is from out the front. <laughs> I don't know which, or oh, this is from the front. Right. I don't know which one you've got here. I think I've used this one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yep. Right in front of the service road, it's one of the new gum trees. So mm -hmm. I took a picture of that and I put it there and I put some birds and I'll show you the dice and some wombats. <laughs> um, and this one, we're all a bit homesick. We can't travel. Yeah. And this is one of the mountains where I grew up with. Uh huh. Oh, I printed that as well that way. I took a picture, I put it there, and I thought, oh, well, kangaroos go on these hills. So I put the kangaroos there. <laughs> so I've cut it left and right. All right. And that's the pictures I use. But there's so many, we've got so many dyes mm. that um, you can use in, especially Australiana, because we've got. Look, I can put koalas on the trees, but I already started it, so I didn't want to overload it. With koalas, you can do a different thing, thing with the crocodiles and stuff, mm. or you can have different ones. There's the kangaroos, and these are the emus. Oh, lovely. Is that emu and wombat together, is it? Yes, I didn't put the emu up. Mm. I've cut it, though. I do yeah. have... Um, they cut up nice emus, look. Yeah. 
Uh, better put it on white so you can see. See? Mm -hmm. It just with what I had, I thought I don't want to overload it. Mm. Um, and I put the birds from this. They're under the find it trading, um, you know, dice. Uh -huh. yeah, I've got some birds. Where are they? On the gum tree. These mm -hmm. ones, like a game. Um, I've cut them mm. instead of having them straight. And I've got these birds on this side. Just a couple of the birds flying up. Mm -hmm. And a couple of little ones on the bottom and on the tree. Mm -hmm. So you can have fun. The dice away. Um, and for the back, right, you've got a little, really room for some greeting. Mm -hmm. The latest addition from Tarot Lays is 17 different word dice. Oh, wow. All right. So which um, uh, edition or um, volume is that? But, um, this is Tarot Lays number 84488. It's words from the heart. Um, they are, where is it? I'll show you what they look like. I love Because again, because you can never have too many sentiments, can you? No, see, this is good luck. That's how big it is. Mm -hmm. All right, so I've cut it and I've used, again, part of the slimline die. Mm -hmm. And I've put the good luck in. Yeah. Um, and then I've cut the slimline, the mm -hmm. smaller dies over here. You can make them smaller, and I'll show you in a minute how we can play with these dice and make them longer or smaller. Oh, okay. All right. That's handy so, to know. Yeah, I've put them in, and, um, yeah, I just made it smaller because everything is just so long. Mm. That's just my opinion, and everybody's got, you know, different thoughts. But yeah. this is 17 different um, greetings. Oh, that's or great. Words. And welcome to the world. I love that because... These yeah. days when we want to be gender neutral, that's a lovely way of welcoming someone. Well, uh, yeah. I've cut that one. I like it too. Yeah. So I was going to put, yeah, see how big it is? Mm. Looks. So, yeah, you can um, use it, you know, cut it in different colours. Yeah. Or even in your scrapbooking if you were doing a baby layout. Yeah. Well, how about thank you? Mm. Or what is it? Happy birthday, happy anniversary. Well done, best wishes on your special day, deepest sympathy, new home, good luck. You know, like there's a lot, there's 17 different ones. Yeah. That's that one there. Now, the emus can go back. And I'll show you quickly how I did this. I don't know what idea other people are using or what other method. Mm hmm. I've cut four full size. Mm -hmm. Okay, just four single ones like this one. And what I did is my scoring board. I get the bigger one because this is a long one. Okay. And I'll show you on this one because that's the full size. Mm -hmm. Put it up against. There's a boy. Um, this is 115 um, mil. So I just thought, look, I'll just allow 15 mil. Mm -hmm. So I will have the 100. So what I did is score each one. Put that down there. And I'm using leather grain here. And the cardstock I've used for the card is 300 gram. Mm -hmm. And the leather grain is the same. Mm -hmm. So it's a bit hard, but you need it nice and strong. Mm. I've done it four like this. Mm -hmm. Then, can you see, I've got one loose. You better find it. Right? And you glue them with... The creases. Right, along to each one. Mm -hmm. 
All right. So I've done the three just to save time because I'm always talking and I don't have enough time to finish. <laughs> um, so all you've got to do is, oh, now it's too much glue. You needed it. Keep in. All right. So that's how you start. And you do the four. Mm -hmm. And because it's got the pattern, it's easy to match. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Match it like a continuation. It's like a waterfall cut. Mm. Okay. So you got four now. Mm -hmm. See? Yep. So I've got to give it a few minutes for this one too. Right. When you like this, they follow, don't they? Oh, okay. <gasps> ah, yep. I've seen some other people that do it different. Mm -hmm. I find this easier, and that's why I'm saying Bill is working on a way that you can do this for like this. Mm -hmm. Join them up, and you got it. Right. There's another way. You just make a square. Oh, okay. You make the center bit. Yeah. And then you start adding them on, one right. by one. Mm. But there's no need to make a centre bit, really. Mm. But that's just me. Yeah, so and having the scoreboard yeah. makes it simple. Yeah, well, you can work with a scoreboard if you don't, just fold it. So now the last one, all right, you go on the other side, this one. So all you've got to do is, because it's all creased, okay, It will fall in where it has to go. Mm -hmm. So can you see it? Mm -hmm. You can make it as big as you like, but depending on your die <laughs> on the paper you're gonna use. Mm. You just do four and score it whatever you like. Mm. On mine I had time to play, so I even lined the inside. Right. So you can put things in there before you put the last one on before you glue the yeah. last one, you just make it pretty mm -hmm. so having this now it's time to start dressing so again these are the sizes and i've done that in a different color you cut one like i said this is now a hundred mm -hmm. from 115 so you go 10 mil shorter mm -hmm. when you die cut full you cut 20 mil now because the 10 is already folded uh -huh. and you need another 10. All right. So I did this one 20 mil mm -hmm. and this one another 30 mil shorter to match. So you have left and right because mm -hmm. one side is smaller because it's folded in. Mm. So you do, you don't done four panels, but you need eight panels because you've got back and front. So I'm not, well, I should just glue some, but just quickly. And then so you were, So you're using the nested die to get the different lengths and then just cutting it. Yeah. Yep. Yes, exactly. Because don't forget, it's three dies. Mm -hmm. This one is for the outside, and the two smaller ones, right. I do the inside. These are the two small ones, right? Mm -hmm. So you just do it like that, and you've cut it because oh, not holding it well. There, um, because it's tucked in the twenty mil that I've taken away. I have to compensate by cutting the die, the paper. So what you do is. One side you cut it from a hundred. What did I say? I can't remember. It's um, twenty mil creased, so this one now has to be seventy-five. Mm -hmm. It's a hundred, so you got to cut it at seventy-five because mm -hmm. twenty mil is gone, and you need ten mil yep. border, or I would like ten mil border. Mm -hmm. This side, it's. 20 mil smaller again or 10 mil smaller because it's gone in so this one one you cut 75 mil and the other one you cut at 65 mil. see that's mm -hmm. 60. so you just keep going like that mm -hmm. 
So you go front and back. That one goes there. And that one again. And that way you end up back in front. On one side you got the big and the other side you got the small. Mm -hmm. So you just keep going like I did there. And you got your tube in the middle. Yeah, and you could tell a story or you could put photos yes. on it. There's so many things you could do. Exactly. You can leave it at the end and you can do six. I, I, sh I should have tried to do six. Oh, yeah, okay. I think that's like a star. Mm -hmm. Who's got you? You just keep going. Mm. So that's a pinwheel with the dice I've used with just a slim line again. You can have it easel or you can have it as a pinwheel. Um, or you can have it straight as a slim line car. Yeah, that's so many different options from one set. Yes, you can just cut it, and I didn't cut it. That's a slim line car, mm -hmm. but you can just cut it on your slim line mm -hmm. and have it a normal thing on your paper. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's fun. Now move that away, and I'll show you what else. Because last time I said embossing. Mm -hmm. And I didn't get a chance to talk about embossing as much as I would have liked to. Because it's such an easy and fun way of creating. Uh -huh. I'll open my bag of goodies and move them away. We all got $2 ribbon, don't we? <laughs> I'm sure um, we have. Yeah, we all have ribbon. Or organza. I looked in the drawers earlier and I found some of this fine organza. And I used an, I glued them, I've cut it because mm -hmm. it was a bigger bag I had. Oh, okay. And I've, I've cut it. And I used my adhesive, the double sided sticky. Mm -hmm. And then I, I had cardstock underneath, double sided sticky, and I put the organza on mm -hmm. and I run it through. That's the embossing program. Oh, okay. All right, and my double-sided sticky on the cardstock. Mm -hmm. And you just run it through with the embossing folder. Right. And that was on a small piece I had. Uh -huh. And see, it gives it a different Ooh. texture. Oh, we can just see it, yeah. Can you? Mm -hmm. All right. This one, I used an old T-shirt material. Oh, okay. Just a white T-shirt. It was just going to be a rag. Mm -hmm. So I cut it up and I thought, does it stick? Mm. So I used it, I peeled it. I should have a bit here. Um, I'm good in making a big mess. So I used it on the, I, again, cardstock, uh -huh. your fabric, and on the embossing folder. Wow, so yeah, organza or ribbon or fabric. What a great idea. Ribbon. See, there's a, the cardstock of the paper. There's a ribbon. I used white. Uh huh. All right. Again, I use the sticky. Mm -hmm. You know, any double-sided sticky you have, and run it through. So mm -hmm. you get your ribbon, and you can make projects. Um. Then again, because we we're all in lockdown and we have time, <laughs> I went in a warehouse and I found this product. Which what is it called? Linen. Stamping linen. Oh, okay. It's in A5, and you can stamp, you can fray the edges, color the stamped image, Ooh. and apply a layer of pearly chalk. It's suitable for printing um, using the in inkjet printer, and you allow time to dry. Now, I, no, I can't color. So, I, again, I use my double sided sticky mm -hmm. on cardstock with an embossing folder. And it's got this embossing folder that I've used uh -huh. just to be. Um, and look, it's on fabric. Oh, okay. Perhaps you could just hold it up a bit more of an angle so the light will catch it. Yeah, we can just see that pattern. Oh, can you? I did it. Can you see this? All right. How about. Yeah, it might just need to be more of an angle so we catch a bit of a shadow from it. Yeah, that's better. Okay. But this is the paper, which is linen. I'll pull it out. Mm -hmm. And that's by Joy, and it's number 6410. 
It's just a fabric. So Sandra was just asking, what's the linen paper called? Stamping linen. Stamping linen. And who is it by? Joy. Joy. J-O-Y. It's in packet of 10 sheets and it's A5. One side is, um, it's got like a shimmer mm-hmm. and the other side is just linen. Honestly, it looks like fabric. Yeah. Linen. Oh, we want to touch it. Yes, and you can stamp. It's got instructions on the back, uh-huh. what you do in many languages, and it's in English as well. Um, it says stamp an image on the stamping linen, fry the edges. I'm not going to fry anything. No, um, but oh, how to... gorgeous for 21st or weddings or... Yeah, it's yeah, very effective. But mm. here they've used it and they've got their stamps, the mm. joy stamps on the back. And like I said, it's... Number six four one zero zero one double zero. So you can stamp on paper. I had some old tape. Uh huh. And it's three color, believe it or not. So I just stamped, you know, embossed it just plain on that. Yeah. That I, I think uh, you've definitely encouraged us to run a few different things through our embossing folders and see what yeah. comes out. Anything. It's not going to harm anything. Mm. Another way of embossing, because I love our three D. See. This is Bill's old T-shirt. Uh huh. And I had bricks. Wow. So I stuck it down. Uh huh. Right. I glued the fabric on with the double sided, and I run it through. See, if you want me to lift it, I'll show you. Yeah, it's just straight material. That's amazing. I, I mean, I have to peel it. Yeah. Look, but that's fabric. Mm. It's actually cotton. Like, you know, I would never have thought of running fabric through an embossing folder. Yeah. Um, so you can emboss in many ways besides colouring mm. um, and getting the stamp on. Another way of embossing, I've used this 3D embossing. Can you see it? That's a picture. Yeah, we can just see nice. it. Flower frame. It's got daffodils. Can you see it there? Um, you must just need to hold it up a little bit more, a bit of more of an angle. Yeah, there we go. Now the light's catching it. Okay, see that? Mm-hmm. Now, what I did is, and I left it full, but you can cut it down. I've used the brick embossing first. Oh, can you see? okay. Mm-hmm. And then when it was embossed in brick, I've used that again on top. Right. So you can have the brick with the flowers in the front. Mm-hmm. I got this spraying storm very late. I wanted to do some animals at the front, some other embossing. Oh, okay. Um, Actually layering up the embossing. I'd never thought yeah. of that. Yeah. So you can layer your embossing, um, depend on what you do. And talk about embossing. You can also emboss acetate. Ah. Can you see that? Yeah. Does it- so it doesn't actually break through. It just sort of creases it. Oh, it doesn't. It doesn't, like, can you see it? Yeah, that's easier to see. Yeah. So you can emboss acetate as well. Wow. I have to double check that we've got the acetate on the other side. Yeah, even if you just ran a a little bit through just to check. Mm -hmm. So you can have fun with embossing besides embossing and colouring. You can do acetate, you can lie it emboss, you can do fabric, you can do ribbon. Organza, um, any fabric you have. I wanted to find some old colored paper, mm-hmm. um, not paper, sorry, colored fabric, and see what that looks like. Mm. Um, I didn't have time, but yeah, you can really play. Really um, the other thing I was playing is with our design cards. I mean, this is some of the new products we've got as well. For all our Oriental friends, I know Olympics is uh, Paralympics is on now, but yeah. this is again uh, by Stephanie, the tatted lace lady. That's her signature. Mm-hmm. She's calling that secret hide away, <laughs> um, and it's very um, Oriental, and it comes with a download. Right. So you die, mm-hmm. and it's a nice um, print. Like, look, it's got a bridge. It's got very, very Oriental. So that's- fantastic. Uh, I'll talk about sunflowers. I should have shown that. 
That's another one by Tarot Lace. Oh, wow. Um, it comes with our sunflower, sundress girl. Mm -hmm. See, that's the dye. Yeah. All right. And it comes with the silhouette and then with the download. So I've just cut it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, just so you, that's a fact. The silhouette of it and that's the actual thing. I didn't glue it all down. So yeah, you can, you can see them. And that's, again, all about a box of sunflowers is the name of the dye. And it's 896076. Um, we've got lots and lots of other dyes. I mean, just to give you an idea on the stock on the slim line, there's this slim line design. Oh, wow. This design. Mm -hmm. More. Mm -hmm. By Nelly. Squares, circles. Mm. Um, this is a bit of a grunge. Oh, yeah. Um, again, more from Studio Light. Another one. Another one that you can make into a journal because you can fold that over. Yeah. As well. Um, this one I really like personally because you've got the slim line, but you've got the envelope. Ah. Pattern. So yeah. you can make your own envelope. Mm -hmm. um, this one, well, it's not a slim line, but you can just crease it in the middle. Um, and I've got other embossing folders as well that are 3D. I mean, we've got hundreds. Excellent. Well, we'll definitely have to go and spend some time on the Craft Zone online yes. website. Uh, you do. Um, now, today we've got a sale on the Hanky Dory die, mm -hmm. as well as the embossing folders and our um, own Craft Zone pre scored cards. Mm -hmm. So, all these are 20% off. Oh, wow. But I don't have much stock. Because I'm expecting another delivery in, but with the dollar and the exchange rate, I don't know what it's going to be. Yeah. So these are just beautiful dyes, uh -huh. beautiful quality. Um, this one I like it because you can do your zigzag cards. Mm. So we've got a few designs. This one I'm more like a bookmark, more words, and look at the tunnel. Ah, but you've got nesting dyes as well. Yeah, so and more theme cards so wow well 20 percent off is a fantastic opportunity to go and have a look through the website and save you from having to move them across to the new website yeah we're all at home so what are we going to do <laughs> now like <coughs> we said see this is on you had his birthday told you in lockdown so he got one of <laughs> slimline card for mm -hmm. his birthday so that's one of the nearly designs mm -hmm. so that's a really nice and easy when you know what you're doing. Um, like I said, we have our tippy card. Mm -hmm. And most of our cards, we give you a couple of pictures, they're samples. Uh -huh. So the tippy card is this, right? Okay. So all you do is, it's already creased for you. Mm -hmm. So you crease it, you crease in the middle, and you make it. Ah. Right there. And this is one of the cards we have. Okay. So that's that way. Mm -hmm. So you can post it because we always put Velcro. Oh, okay. I would put Velcro. Mm. <coughs> one other way for making a tippy card, it's the same card, it's creasing the sides. Ah. Okay. So, again, mm -hmm. there's the card, the tippy card. I'll just open it up. Mm -hmm. Okay. All you do is score the sides, mm -hmm. like right there. I emboss some so you can see the difference. Fold it. Yeah. Oh, nice. You can have it that way or that way. It, you know, it's up to you how you want to use it. It's just, like I said, we're blessed with the three craft girls and they all come up with their own designs. Yeah. Now, our end card is very popular, this one. Mm -hmm. And that's, you know, first we come up with a design 
and then the girls make a card. That's why in front you will see what we've made. Oh, okay. <laughs> so Sally does the artwork and Bill does the manufacturing. So there it is there. That's our card. Oh, okay. It's A5. Mm -hmm. um, where is it? Did he give me one? No, he didn't. You get it in A5, right? That's the card size. Uh huh. And it's creased. So all you've got to do, fold it in the middle. Mm -hmm. Diagonal. Just crease everywhere that it's got the creases. Mm. And there it is. Up there. And it goes that way. Oh, fantastic. So, Mary, um, we're nearly out of time, so there's just a couple more things you wanted to show us before okay, we finished up. Yes, I'll show you this other one, which is really easy. Again, it's our easel car, mm -hmm. double easel. This one there. It's a double easel that we sell. It's folded that way. Mm -hmm. And then, again, there. Oh. And this is a card that it was made in a class, and that's the double easel. Oh, okay, and then you've stuck the rectangles on top. That's right. Um, or whatever you like. That's our double easel. Also, the double easel is this. It's the same card. Uh-huh. Right? But, again, Velcro in, and it's that way. Ah. So this is, um, again, when we sell them, you can see both ways. Mm -hmm. It's this the double easel, all you've got to do is crease again the ends. Um, I had some done. Okay. This is our double easel. And you get your scorer. And you crease it all the way. You fold it in half. I'm going to do it quickly. Mm -hmm. And then... Right, that's what it is. You fold it in half and then you get your scorer and you crease the corners. Mm -hmm. There. I'll just do it on this one. So you crease the corners. Means it's folded. So you know the corner in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you sit it up there and you go corner to corner. Mm -hmm. And this one is left and right there. So, so you do like a pyramid. So now it's there. Oh, okay. A double easel card. And if the girls or anybody wants to buy a double easel, I'm happy to send out a sample. Right. You can put Velcro underneath, mm -hmm. or because it's got the crease there already, when you finish ah. send it like this as well yeah okay? oh fantastic <laughs> and that is this one with like i said those two i'll move that over it's our double easel card yeah the same and we've done it in many different ways um but that's what i came up with but like i said i'm happy to send out samples we have over 30. I mean, this is, talk about nature, I wanted to show you a shutter card uh -huh. with the guys that I've shown you earlier. Ah. Right? With the sunset and all the Australian animals. Mm -hmm. And on the back, you put, can put your greetings. That's mm -hmm. our shutter card. Excellent. Well, Mary, we'll give you a minute or two to get the camera back and then we'll finish up. Thank you. Excellent. So I hope that's given you so many ideas, firstly, of the vast range of products that Craft Zone have and whether you're visiting them at the market, at a From Picture to Page show or their website, there is just so much there to do. There's just absolutely no excuse or say that you're not a card maker to be able to throw some things together. And of course, there's so many ways that you can use them in your other paper craft projects as well, whether it's in a journal or a scrapbooking. And I love the way Mary and her team show us multiple ways to use that same card base because it just makes it so flexible. So I think Mary is ready to go. So Mary, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. And thank you everyone for watching. And I hope we inspire people and we get encourage them to try anything. It's easy. We sell the cards ready to go. You don't need to have a machine. Just cut some paper and put it together. Yeah. We also have a 
couple of 3D die cuts ready in kits to go. And all they do is buy a packet. Mm -hmm. And just go on our website or drop me a line, an email, anything you want to. And the sale... Oops. Hang on. I think we might have lost Mary. Just a minute. Okay, we've got Mary back. Sorry, we'd lost you for a minute there. So yeah, and like you said, they're just it's such a so so good to be able to turn it to, you know, make it more complicated or make it as simple as it needs to be. Now like we lost Mary again. No, you're there. Excellent. Well, I think the internet is trying to tell us something, so maybe we better finish up. <laughs> Excellent. Well, Mary, thank you so much for joining us and we'll make sure that everyone goes and checks out that Craft Zone website. So thank you. Oh dear, it looks like Mary's frozen. Not to worry. As she said, they've got 20% off all Hunky Dory dies, all their pre-scored cards and their embossing folders. So head over to their website, Craft Zone Online, and the link will be here somewhere near this video. And again, thank you all so much for joining us and for being part of the From Picture to Page family and Plan C, where we talk about cre creativity, crafting, and connection. So make sure you do share us with your crafty friends, leave a comment if you've got any questions, you'll be able to go back and watch this replay to catch all the details and to see all those different ways that Mary and her team have created those cards. So again, for all the details of Plan C Season 3, head over to our website, from picture to page and beyond.com.au. This is Michelle signing off. We hope you have a crafty day.